Hi, in this sequence of videos we're going to be looking at the AQA Mechanics 1 January 2012 exam paper. The videos are going to be split into three parts. In the first part of the um, video I'm going to ask you to try the question. Um, and um, if you feel like you need some extra support I will then go on to give you some hints and tips as to how, to, how you can go um, about answering the questions. And then finally, in the last part of the video, I'm going to go over the answers to the questions. Now remember to um, try the questions yourself first, um, and only use the hint if you need, um, or you feel that you need the hint. Work through the answers as you watch, so um, make sure that you're not being passive and, 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 and you're actually taking part in doing the questions yourself. And also, um, if at any point of the video you feel that you could finish the question off yourself, then, then pause the video and, and, and have a go at finishing it off. You can always check your answer afterwards. Right, so um, starting with question one, um, what I'd first of all like you to do is pause the video now and try this question. Okay, well done if you managed to have a go at that. I'm now going to give you a hint as to how you can go about answering the question. So we've got two particles, um, A of mass 7 kilograms and B of mass 3 kilograms, and they're moving along a smooth horizontal plane when they collide. Just before the collision, the velocity of A is 3i plus 8j meters per second, and the velocity of B is 6i take away 5j meters per second. During the collision, the particles coalesce to form a single combined particle and remember the word coalesce means they stick together so um, we want to find the velocity of the single combined particle after the collision now my um, hint to you here is that what you want to think about is what is the new mass of the single combined particle going to be you can then use your conservation of momentum to decide what the velocity is going to be. If you'd now like to pause the video and see if you can have a go at answering this question. Okay, I'm now going to go over the solution um, to this particular problem. Now, um, I'm going to start by writing down the information that we know. So, we know the initial velocity of, sorry, we know the mass of A. Um, the mass of A is equal to 7 kilograms. I also know the mass of B, and that's equal to 3 kilograms. I know the initial velocity of A, and that's going to be 3i plus 8j. I'm going to write this as a column vector. That's meters per second, and I also know the initial velocity of B, which is 6i take away 5j, or 6, negative 5. Okay, um, and during the collision, the particles coalesce, and they form a single combined particle. So, I'm now going to have a new mass, and I'm also going to have... Um, we want to find the velocity of the single combined particle after collision, so I'm also going to have a new velocity. Well, my new mass, um, so I've just written a capital M for that, um, and that's going to be the sum of um, A and B. So that's going to give me 10 kilograms. Okay, so um, using my conservation of um, momentum, I know that... Um, the product of this add the product of this so the momentum before the total momentum before is going to be equal to the total momentum afterwards so um, the momentum before is going to be 7 multiplied by um, 3 8 plus 3 multiplied by 6 and negative 5 so that's the total momentum before and that's going to be equal to the total momentum afterwards well that's going to be there's only a single part particle left so that's going to be 10 
times by the vector v which is what we're trying to work out okay so um, if I work this out I've got um, 21 plus 18 Oops. and then over here I've got 56 take away 15 and that's going to be 10 V I'll just switch that over there okay um, so that's going to be equal to well uh, 21 and 18 gives us 39 and 56 take away 15 gives us 41 so 10 V is equal to um, 39 41 which tells me that our velocity of the single combined particle is going to be 3.9 and 4.1 meters per second okay um, and there you go so um, hopefully you found that clear and useful uh, thanks very much for joining me um, and I look forward to seeing you again soon take care